Fort Dodge now where culinary students from Iowa Central stayed behind while others left on break, all to help Fort Dodge Ford host their Thanksgiving community dinner. And as WHO 13's Roger Riley shows us, the local response is big enough to clear the entire showroom floor. Well, since the Johnson family owned Ford Lincoln Toyota here in Fort Dodge, they decided when they wanted to have a community-wide meal, why not have it here at the dealership? Just move the 35 cars out of the way and they've got plenty of space to feed people. Well, uh, 16 years ago, uh, my wife and I and our two sons were sitting around the uh, table on Thanksgiving and said, uh, what should we try differently this year? So we said, uh, let's do a community meal. And uh, so that was 16 years ago. We did 300 meals that first year. And since then, it has evolved to this year where we're planning 2,300 meals. It's good to see you too. Uh, you know what? Uh, it's always good to see uh, you back here on Thanksgiving Day and I think of your uh, late husband, you know, and so it's no fun being alone. So. Many people come here for the celebration. Each has their own story of thankfulness. Uh, she was uh, my wife and I's miracle baby. She's three months old now, and this is her first Thanksgiving, and we're appreciative that these folks are doing this, really. had quite a few health issues this year, and I'm thankful he's still with me, and I'm thankful for my family, and we're thankful for this beautiful setting today here at Fort Dodge Fort, and thank them for the delicious meal. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it again for the Iowa Central Culinary Students. Yay! Let's get Chef, Mike, uh, Chef Jeffrey back here. Hi, I'm Jeff Jeffrey from uh, Cape Town, South Africa, and I teach at Iowa Central. Uh, we are excited to be here. We want to serve you guys. Hopefully you're hungry. All these students put in all the work today, so hopefully you enjoy everything that they prepared for you today. So thank you. And with so many people grateful on this Thanksgiving Day, the Johnson family say they're committed to keeping this thing going for years to come. In Fort Dodge, Roger Riley, WHO 13 News. Fort Dodge Ford also runs a private Meals on Wheels program year-round, serving around 55 people every day.